What's going on, Graveyard Shift? It's Josh and Kelsey. Hey, everyone. We are back with another video. As Dalen always says, shifting ain't easy, and today, y'all, we earned it. It was not easy. The wind, as you see Kelsey's hair right now, <laughs> going crazy. Uh, we got you blocked, posted up in the car to block the wind so we can do this intro, but we wanted to let you know that this conversation today that we're having one here on the Graveyard Shift, it, it's one of probably one of the favorite ones we've done so far. Today, we're talking with not only a Kentucky legend, not only a legend in sports, but we're talking to Mr. Oliver Lewis, who is a horse racing legend. He was the first person to ever win the Kentucky Derby, but he was also the very first African-American to win the Kentucky Derby. Now, there's not a lot of info out, out about Mr. Lewis. I know his family's doing a lot of work right now, trying to get his name out there and his accomplishments, but hopefully we can be a part of helping people learn who Mr. Lewis is. Uh, Kelsey, you want to tell us a little bit more? Mr. Oliver Lewis was born free in Fayette County, Kentucky on December 12, 1856. His parents were Goodson and Eleanor Lewis. In 1875, at the age of 19, Oliver became the first jockey to win the Kentucky Derby riding Air Cedis. Oliver is also the first African American to win. He went on to win second place at the Belmont Stakes and also won three more races at the Louisville Jockey Club, now known as Churchill Downs, riding Aristides in all of the races. Oliver retired from horse racing after that season for unknown reasons. Oliver became a day laborer for a short time. After that, he started providing handicapping tables and racing forms to bookies. He later became a bookie himself, which was legal in Kentucky at that time. Oliver married Lucy Wright, and they had six children. One of the children, James, inherited Oliver's bookmaking business. Oliver passed away January 30, 1924, at the age of 68 years old. In 2010, the city of Lexington named a portion of the Newton Pike Extension in his name to honor his legacy. There isn't a lot of information about Mr. Oliver Lewis, we hope today's conversation will help bring light to his amazing story in life. Mr. Lewis, my name is Josh, and this is my beautiful wife, Kelsey, and we're with a group called the Graveyard Shift. What we do, we go around talking to fine folks like yourself that might not have got to talk to anybody in a while. Mr. Lewis, you have a very interesting story, um, very interesting past, and we think more people need to know your name and who you are and... Um, just the, the, the blessing you were to not only people, but to the sport of, of horse racing. So, uh, sir, we're going to ask you a few questions, and hopefully we have permission to do that. We do come in full respect and peace and light and love. We mean no disrespect, no ill intent, sir. And, uh, yeah, we just, just want to come talk to you. So, do we have permission, sir, to, to speak with you today? Kelsey's going to hit a, this button here, and we'll be able, to, um, be able to hear your responses. We will have to go back and review your answers, but that's how this kind of works, is I'll ask you, or we'll ask you a question. We'll turn the box on. You'll be able to hear us. We'll be able to hear you, but we do go back and uh, have to review your responses. So we might not hear a lot today, but then again, we might. And also, y'all, we are sitting in our car. We're pulled up in front of Mr. Lewis's resting spot here um it's very windy today so you can probably see the trees back there so we had to do it like this all right mr lewis do we have permission to speak with you sir good <laughs> All right, Mr. Lewis. I think I heard some confirmation that we, we have permission. Um, so we're going to go back and listen to that, but I'm pretty sure you said yes. Right away, I heard fine, I believe. So I'm going to go with that. If I am wrong, sir, I do apologize. But Kelsey, um, Kelsey wants to ask you a question to start this off, sir. I do. Are you here resting with your wife and children or with your mom? Is your family here with you? Okay. 
Lewis, again, sir, we're we'll have to go back and listen to your answers. Uh, but your voice, sir, will not go unheard. Your name, that's the whole reason why we're doing this. We know your name and a bit of who you are, and we just want to be a part of helping your history, the history that you've, well, you lived, uh, make that come to light. More people need to know you, sir, and that's that's our that's our whole goal behind this. Uh, so, sir, one, one question I had for you is uh growing up here in fayette county kentucky especially back in in, in your your time I, I can imagine it was difficult uh, could you could you tell us a little bit about how it was growing up in fayette county as you as as you grew up To that i'm excited to, to hear a little bit about that um about how it was for you growing up around here back then all right mr lewis kelsey's got a question for you sir i'm curious did you always have a love for horse racing um even from when you were a little boy <laughs> Are we okay? Mark. 
Lewis, I, I have a question for you. This is about training. How, about how many hours a day did, did you train? I'm sure you had to train every day um, to achieve the excellence that you've achieved. How, how, how long did you train for, sir? sir we'll go back and listen to that response there Kelsey you got a question I do um, mr. Lewis we read that your trainer instructed you to tire out the field uh, during the first Kentucky Derby so that Chesapeake could pull forward and win but he ended up falling back too far so you saw an opportunity and went for the win we're just curious are those stories true all right Good, good question. Uh, we have gone you. excited to hear that that uh response there because that's that's one of the main stories when, when we looked you up sir it was that was one story we found that that you took the took the reins and you had to do what you had to do to to, to get it done and uh, i respect that so uh one, one question i have for you sir we read also read that your family i believe it was your daughter granddaughter 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 um has a bunch of found a bunch of artifacts she inherited your house and found a bunch of artifacts trophies um, things like that that had your name on them there was a lot of them from what we've read so did you have one sir that you are the most proud of i don't know if she had the big trophy there or not but i'm sure you had a lot so did you have one that you're most proud of sir <laughs> Yeah. 
something about trees there um which there are some very pretty trees around here this is a beautiful place y'all mr lewis sir there, there's not a whole lot of information out here about you there's not enough that should be out at least um I, one thing i wanted to ask you sir is there something about yourself that people don't know that you'd like to share is there any it could be anything is there any anything that you'd like to people to know about you that, that we don't know. All right, Kels, hit the button there. Sir, I I understand your your family, who who's currently living, are they're really working hard to advocate for you and, and try to get a, a documentary out about you, just so people people know who you are. Are you proud of the work that they're doing for your name and your story, sir? <laughs> Thank you. 
sir and uh one last question do does kelsey and i have permission sir to come back and, and see you sometime speak to you and just just ask you more questions Sir, thank you so much for allowing us to speak with you today. On behalf of the Graveyard Shift and Kelsey and myself, we sure appreciate you. It's been an honor, and, and I'm excited to watch your name and, and your history and what you've done. I'm excited for the, the world to, to hear about it and for it to spread. Um, we really appreciate it. So thank you for your time, sir. And we ask that you just rest in peace and rest in light. All right, Graveyard Shift, that about does it. We're wrapping it up. We're heading to the house, y'all. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the conversation we had with Mr. Oliver Lewis today. And, uh, Dalen, we sure appreciate you allowing us to come out here and do a shift for you, fill in for you. If y'all are not subscribed to Dalen, make sure you hit that subscribe button. He's the man. Um, we sure appreciate you, Bubba. Until the next one, I'm Josh. That's Kelsey. We are out. Bye.